Hi, I'm Cami Utman, and this is AWR 360. We are in Israel. Jericho is one of the strongest fortresses in the land, with its wealthy palaces and temples of luxury, vice, and idol worship. This was all in defiance of the God of Israel. Christ appeared to Joshua and promised victory over Jericho. In obedience to the divine command, Joshua marshaled the armies. No assault was to be made. For six days, the host of Israel made the circuit of the city. And the seventh day came and they were directed to march seven times around Jericho with their trumpets. The watchers on the wall looked on with rising fear. As the seventh circuit was completed, the trumpets broke forth in a blast that shook the very earth. The walls of solid stone with their massive towers tottered and heaved from their foundations and with a crash fell in ruin to the ground. The inhabitants of Jericho were paralyzed with terror and Israel took possession of the city. The Israelites had not gained the victory by their own power, but wholly by God. It was impressed upon Israel that in the conquest of Canaan, they were not to fight for themselves, but simply be instruments in the will of God. What is the will of our Heavenly Father today? Just like Joshua, we are to lift up the trumpets and be His instruments to complete His will. Jesus made His commission to us very clear, to go preach, teach, and baptize every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. And this is why AWR 360 is from broadcast to baptism.